this is what van life in Iceland looks like, it's probably not what you thought. Pretty excited. First hot springs I'll ever have been in in Iceland. Kruna Luich. Kruna is kind of the name of the place and Luich is pool. And I probably said that wrong. But Helena told me like seven times how to say it. Kruna Luich. Kruna Luich. Kruna Luich. The moment you all been waiting for our first waterfall in Iceland. And this is Selula Jalalafoss or something. Here you say it. So when you walk behind it, we might. Are we walking behind it? We are literally in the belly of the beast in Sel Jalalafoss under the waterfall. Look at its majesty, its glory. Is it incredible? What happened to you, Trev? Let's get my Insta booty shots in, you know. We're at, a, we're at another epic hot springs that I can't pronounce. But look at all these purple flowers here, it's ridiculous. There's a big kind of hot springs, a big pool that's, I think, cemented. But just past it, people don't know there's like a hot springs right here on the side of a mountain. The most romantic hot spring in all of Iceland. It's a secret one. My name's Tristan. I'm from Neskupstadur. My number one tip I would say is eat the Icelandic food, even though it's su <laughs> superbly bland. For example, it's Svith, which is a sheep's head boiled. It's cut in half, burn all the hair off and then you uh, eat the sheep's head. You even eat the eyes. Do you like it? Personally, not, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Teach me to pronounce this guy's name. And he's the guy that discovered America. Iceland and America. Yes. Not Christopher Columbus. No. <laughs> Ey, it. It. <laughs> Ray. Ray. Is this for the police? Yeah. This is, no. <laughs> Got a little bit of a late start today. We went to bed at like 10 but woke up at like one? It'll look like this at three o'clock in the morning it's when it's supposed to be dark. We're about to start our day at 3 p.m. We probably are gonna go till straight through the night tonight. That's a beautiful thing about Iceland is you could plan your trips through the night. What's the best bagel? It's a red lentil, sun-dried tomato, black bean, hummus-ish, hummus. Sounds amazing. <laughs> it's not hummus, but it's delicious. I'll take it. Okay. So toasted. We're on our way to the Dirholei arch and we saw this cool cave so we're just checking it out it's one of those unexpected stops that has now become one of my favorite spots i'm booking a and it's 27,000 isk i think that means icelandic krona now but i have no idea how much money that is i hope it's not a lot i think yeah, it's that. time that we look up a conversion chart that uh, right there that's the sunset, and the interesting thing about it is, it's not gonna be set for another hour. We decided to start our day late and travel, and I am just blown away. This is all moss, it's all soft. You're from Germany. Yeah, yeah, from uh, Rosenheim, it's uh, in Bavaria. Yeah, it's where the Oktoberfest is, you know, May, Munich, oh, where they cute. drink the beer. <laughs> It's 1 a.m., but since we got up kind of late today, it's okay, we're just like hitting the sights middle of the night alone. So we stopped here at Piedra Gluver, which is a canyon formed after the last ice age, like 9,000 years ago from glacial melt. I don't have words. Jam down the road and suddenly I slammed on the brakes and pulled over because we saw this. As the sun was rising, which I mean, you have to be up in the middle of the night for the sun to rise, and the light was. This is Laura. She is my guide today, she's my protector. We are. Getting ready to do something a little more unique. Ready to take on the world? The glacier is a moving body. We just made it to the actual glacier. Don't know how to say the name exactly, but uh, I think Clara will tell us again. Patjogold. Falling glacier. It's just an accumulation of snow. So a lot of years of snow falling that it's not melting away. And you get like the building up of layers. The Underneath layers get pressurized into ice due to the weight. 
this glacier here used to be part of another glacier that's on the other side of that. Like five years ago, the glaciers separated because everything's melting. Totally one of those, didn't know it was on my bucket list items. Well, we just hiked a glacier after getting virtually no sleep last night. So now we're gonna eat and sleep all day. Well, I'm stretching, I'm gonna do a little bit of yoga. Sun just set, we just woke up a little bit ago, so we're gonna start our day. And one thing that you should know about Iceland is that I haven't seen even one drive-through and I went shopping and I didn't recognize much of the food. I recognized, um, my majolk, we've, we've barely eaten. There's just kind of nothing to eat here. You even eat the eyes. One thing you don't see every day by the beach in California, where I come from, are glaciers. There are places that I would suggest that you just kind of get off, jump out, take a photo. This is not one of those places. The light in your eyes. Trevor and I got here, I think to this location, three plus hours ago and it feels like it was five minutes. I feel like I could sit here all day long. It changes every minute. I have now discovered my new favorite place in the entire world that I've ever been. I didn't realize that there really was blue ice like this. I thought frozen, I thought they made that up. This is Svelsfjara Black Diamond Beach because it has diamonds, little chunks of glaciers, little icebergs all over this black sandy beach. It's, it's incredible. When you come to Glacier Lagoon and Diamond Beach, you want to come early, early because we got here a while ago. We were like the only ones on the beach and there was a ton of ice diamonds and glacier chunks all over the beach. And now that it's a little bit later in the day, just a few hours later, and it's only like, what, nine o'clock in the morning now, most of the stuff is, is melted here and you're just gonna get a different experience, so come early. Van life is starting to take a toll. We just found a parking space here at Vesterhorn where you're not supposed to camp. We, just, we didn't camp, we slept. We, and we're at this beautiful location and Neither one of us care. We just want to sleep. Now, Leela is a compulsive cleaner, and yet, that's her seat. And that's our napping quarters for the middle of the day. Vesterhorn is known for being insanely picturesque. It's kind of magical. It's like those clouds are doing a dance around the mountains. For Lighthouse and for a Viking set from a movie that they started to make and never made in 2009. Viking village doesn't feel um, worth it. We're gonna see if we can do the picturesque thing. I think we uh, kind of nailed a shot or two, right? Coconut shells. <laughs> What's the van life? Where are we going next? Well, van life is very typical to Trevor and Leela life because we don't know where we're go quite going next. Hey Leela, I found, I found some dinner. Got it at a gas station for you. I'm questioning the name of those digestives. Who came up with that name? <laughs> Guys should be shot. Camping situation in Iceland is pretty cool. There's camping everywhere. Right here at Vesterhorn, you can actually stay. But we're not going to do that. We already slept here for like four hours. We need... Hey, I'll dress up for you. It's gonna be like gorgeous. You gotta remember that the beach is out there. We made it to Sedefjordur, and it's known for that.
this is what it's like driving a van when the wife's driving, which is kind of my favorite time. There are waterfalls literally everywhere. Trevor and drive. Oh, Trev. Oh my gosh, Trev. And I'm going to miss some because I'm going to go back there and sleep while she drives. Advice, don't use that room when you're driving. Deddy Foss is reported to be the most powerful or second most powerful waterfall in all of Europe. So it's like way impressive and massive, but it's just like, gosh, the bugs. <laughs> waterfall with like really dirty water. That's <laughs> really powerful. Not my favorite. I don't mean to undersell it, but if you really like big, powerful waterfalls, come to Deddy Foss. It's and big bugs. and powerful. And if you love bugs, this is your place. Yeah, I like those little net. Oh, see, there's one right there. How are they in here? <laughs> Here in the north, we have the Mibatan Hot Springs. Which are said to be better than the Blue Lagoon, so we're gonna go see. We'll even show you. We're gonna stick a GoPro into the hot springs. <laughs> right now, it's almost 11 p.m. It's 10.45 and it's, it's yep. glorious. Look at this, look at this. Uh... I'm certain from our Instagram profile, you must think we're supermodels, but reality is we wake up like this. She went out in public wearing a skirt over her pajamas. Because I was so tired Look. last night that I forgot. <laughs> Did you sleep in that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get back there, but I'm stuck in this There's chair. like, van life is great, except there's no freaking room, man. If it was just you and me, could we do this for a year? Absolutely. Mm. Now, there would be times I might need to dump you off for a few weeks. Just outside the town of Mibatan, you have Namafial, which has these funerals and mud pots. The water gets up to 200 degrees here. I'm kind of surprised to let you walk up to this one because it will burn you. And the Icelanders used to mine this sulfur for gunpowder. Right at the edge of Namafial, you have this pool, but it's empty, so it used to be probably a hot springs, but I guess the sheep drank it all. I have us booked for the greatest adventure on Sunday. A one time in a lifetime place. Is that a tease? Of course it's a tease. We're kind of planning as we go and we don't know where we're gonna stay ever. And we got, we kind of got the last four days kind of mapped out, right? Well, who knows what we'll do. I still have no idea where we're gonna sleep. Go to Foss, Waterfall of the Gods. Probably the most beautiful waterfall in all of Iceland. Yeah! Woo! Oh, he's out. Is he out? Uh-oh, he needs help. That was just insane. Yeah, that some people are just like my you know? Is it scary? Yeah, it was all right. I asked them like, uh, at what moment uh, in your life you decide to jump waterfalls with a, <laughs> with a kayak, you know? Like he said, you start flat. <laughs> Iceland is one of the best places that he's equipped for doing van life. There's vans all around us every place we go. Oh, he flies the drone, which you all know stresses me out. I can just be in here and eat my lunch. Every freaking time, every freaking time. It's always stressful when you have a high wind warning, battery's low and it's trying to return to home and you're losing image transmission. So there's a chance my drone will make it back. Let me explain. We pulled into this parking lot to see this crater, but it was a long walk. So I put up the drone and flew really far to try to get some video. But all I saw was this. I didn't know it, but I was at the wrong crater. And by the time I started flying back, my battery was almost dead and my drone force landed, but I had no idea where. After about a half hour of playing the video back on my remote, another successful flight, safely landed like always. How stressed, how worried you? <sighs> my name is Frederick, and I was born and raised on that island over there. Please say. We love tourists. 
because we're very aware of how much they help our country like economically and they keep the system going. We found a campground, but it's apparently closed. This would have been our view if we stayed camping here tonight. About five minutes ago, we figured out that we're camping here for the night, which is in the middle of town. But hey, it's kind of kind of great. There's the water closets. That means bathroom for all you Americans. And this is the full spin. Town, town, big mountains, a little bit of snow. And that's us right there. There's Leela's in there helping us get ready for bed. People are sleeping next to me. I have to be quiet. But look at this. We're right by the harbor. How cool is that? With mountains, snow behind. What the heck? How is that possible? You're like nestled between the mountains right here. Snow cap on that side, green lush on that side. <laughs> She's uh, quite young. She's like uh, half a year under the saddle, but she's yeah doing a great job and maybe a little challenge for you. Ilu, Ilu, and it means Ilu. spirit. I think it was the most fun I've had on this whole trip. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Luca. It is a kind of fish jerky, and this is how people have been treating fish from you know for the last 1,100 years in Iceland when there were no freezers. With a little bit of butter on it. Yeah. Tastes fishy. It's different. It's not as terrible as you might think. You did really well, playing that. <laughs> It was an eight miles on a dirt road to get here. And it's literally guarded by Gandalf the Great. But we paid a few Icelandic krona and he let us in. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Magical experiences can be found when you just go off the beaten path a bit. We've been a little bit unsure about food here, but I went to a gas station and got a hot dog and it's actually good. I went back and I got a second one. We literally had like almost three more hours of driving planned and we are just, just so tired. So we're gonna just... I've driven around almost the entire island. That is the first drive through I've seen, but apparently there are more. And since I finally found a drive through I ordered a hamburger to go inside here. I have no idea what I'm putting on my food right now because I can't read it. Whatever this is, so I'll test it. It tastes like season salt. I've been driving for an hour. Leela's right there. I just got really tired, so I'm pulling over. I'm gonna sleep. I don't I gotta find a spot somewhere. About three weeks ago, Trevor and I were in Yellowstone. The most famous geyser in the entire world is Old Faithful. I was done. I was like, I don't care. Didn't know that I had a really bad case of COVID then. I sat on the floor of the hotel. Trevor went out to search for Old Faithful and we missed it by a few minutes. So. Today we have traveled all the way to Iceland. We are now at a geyser. I wonder if I will actually see a geyser above this. Just in time. My favorite thing is you are here at your own risk and I was reading the signs. Do not test the temperature with your hands, it will burn. The nearest hospital is 62 kilometers away. We've seen a lot of waterfalls traveling and living in Oregon, but I think this tops them all. This is majestic. We found a campsite right near Silfra because we got 
Big plans for tomorrow. I'm eating, Leela's not too tired. A lot of my meals consist of some form of pasta. By the way, this is that you camp in Iceland. Just find a spot on the lawn, stick your van. We stuck our van right there. Look at that cloud over there, it's, it's really cool. It's midnight and I hear a lot of people frolicking and playing. We're about to do something a little nuts. Not sure why I thought this was a great idea. I'm suiting up for something that I can't believe I said yes to. Are you nervous too? <laughs> Leela's putting on a dry suit for the first time in her life. So I guess you already know why you're here. Why did I wake up to this? We are in between two tectonic plates right now. It's filled by water. The water comes from a glacier. So that's why this water is very clear, very pure, and very cold. I can't breathe. I pray by the ask leak and I can't see. scuba diving lots of times that never in a dry suit and there's so much air in here i cannot get underwater at all Let's see if i get deeper i'm going down here it is got deeper we got a rock i don't want to go <laughs> If you want that, you can be the one I pick up tomorrow. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> was it scared? I was it cold? I was it anything? I felt my whole being it was incredible. We were like in between two tectonic, tectonic plates. Point. Breathtaking. So worth it. Glad oh you did. Gosh, and you were afraid, weren't you? I was totally afraid. Arctic Adventures comes with your own personal French chef. He's making me French hot chocolate. The only kind of knows how to make. Why well, is not French? It's Swiss. It's Swiss. <laughs> so subscribe to li Life and Tender. And Tender. Life and Tender. That's perfect. If this video sold you on Iceland, click here for our ultimate Iceland ring road travel guide.